Australia's Naval Future, a $10 billion decision. Australia is at a critical crossroads, facing a decision that will shape the future of its Navy. The Royal Australian Navy's aging Anzac-class frigates are set to be replaced in a massive $10 billion program, and two contenders have emerged as finalists, Germany's Miko A-200 from ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems and Japan's upgraded Mogami-class frigate from Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. Each option offers distinct advantages and significant challenges. The Miko A-200 is a proven design, already serving in the navies of multiple countries, including Egypt. With a displacement of 3,800 tons and a 16-cell MK-41 vertical launch system, it's reliable, versatile, and accommodates a crew of 120. Germany's TKMS is no stranger to Australia, having successfully delivered the Anzac-class frigates in the past. This existing relationship reduces integration risks and promises smoother collaboration. On the other hand, Japan's upgraded Mogami-class frigate brings modern innovation to the table. It's larger with a displacement of 4,800 tons and equipped with a 32-cell MK-41 system, cutting-edge sensors, and advanced automation requiring a smaller crew of just 90. However, this frigate isn't proven, with the first delivery not expected until 2028, just a year before Australia's 2029 target. That timeline, paired with Japan's limited experience in exporting warships, raises concerns. Beyond technical specifications, strategic partnerships are a key consideration. Choosing the Mogami class could deepen Australia's defense ties with Japan, reinforcing their shared commitment to regional security in the Indo-Pacific. But with this choice come risks of delays and integration challenges. Meanwhile, the Miko A200 offers a low-risk solution with a proven track record. It may lack the cutting-edge tech of the Mogami class, but its reliability and compatibility with Australia's current systems make it a safe bet. So what will Australia choose? German reliability or Japanese innovation? This decision isn't just about ships, it's about the nation's defense strategy and its role in the Indo-Pacific. Stay tuned as we follow this high-stakes naval showdown.